Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. We are here in the Cypher Sector 13 um, and about to start with a third of actually four tasks. Again, the task looks pretty similar to the task uh, the task we had before. We have a string as input. We're supposed to return a string as output, and we're supposed to modify the the string character wise in some way so that we map from an input string to an output string. The last two tasks were something like Caesar code where we shifted every character by the same offset. Uh, apparently here now it's something different. So the first is shifted by one, the second is shifted by something else, uh, B, C, D, E, F, so by five. The first by one, the second by five. So, maybe it's just plus four or something. Um, let me try that out. Starting from zero, going over every character in the string, and say that um, we actually shift the original string char at I shift that one by plus x, where x is initially initially one, and then we say x plus equals four. Let's see. This should work for the two test cases we've seen, but it will probably not be a complete solution. What did not, oh, we need an explicit cost here back to char uh, for the solution to work had this in the last two tasks. So let's see what happens here. So again, this apparently works for these two tasks as I uh, expected and apparently we're missing the wrapping around here. So mm, my guess is that we actually again shift down what was it 98 I think shift down the ASCII to 0 do our modification do a modulo 26 and then shift up again and add some braces here so let me see if that works out um, might work might not work yet Apparently it does not work because from Z it should map to A, but um, okay, might be that I have to use 25 here because we start with zero. No, I don't. Is it 78 or is it? No, that was a wrong one. So maybe it's it was not. What is it? Was it 97? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. it was 97, not 98. Sorry for doing that wrong. The ASCII table in my head is kind of um, blurry every now and then. Okay, so now it works still for the first two test cases we've seen. Um, it should also work for the Z to A test case. Question is if my updating for every further character by plus four is the right solution because this was really just a blind guess uh, shot in the blue, so to say. So I'm really curious to see if that's the actual solution, if I hit the spot or if it wasn't. Um, unfortunately, this takes quite long, but <laughs> apparently I got it right in the first try. Impressive, I'm better than I thought. Or I'm just lucky. Probably second. Okay, so let's continue on to the last task of sector 13. Okay, let's check it out. So the first A is mapped to C, the second is mapped to D, the next is mapped to T, then another T, then C, D again then T so it's like 
um, shifting up to a point, repeating that point, and then starting from scratch. So let's see what we can do about this. For int i0, for all the characters in the string, I'm going to go over them and say that the new character is actually computed from the old one by taking the old one. Helps. Um, we're again in the lowercase alphabet, so I go down by 97 and shift by some x and afterwards I just do the module 26 and shift it up again. So the question is what is x? And my guess is that x initially starts with 2 because it goes from A to C. Then <laughs> how to implement that. Actually I want to have an array here saying new int the first time it's shifted by one from oh, by two sorry from A to C. The second time it's from A to D so shifted by three. The third time it's from A to T so shifted by B C D E F G H I J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, which is 19, 19, then again by 19, and then it wraps around. So, oh, sorry, uh, I didn't mean to compile that. Actually, I want to use um, this one here, and I want to say I modulo x dot length, 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 this one. Okay, so, let, so let's see if that works around. First time he uses 2, second time 3, uh, third time 19, then 19 again, then wrap around and use 2 again. Um, seems to work for all the test cases we've seen so far. Question is, are there other test cases that we have not seen so far? And does this give us the full skill rating? I mean, I could of course hard code this with 4 here as I know that it's always 4 uh, but the uh, nerdy programmer in me wanted to generalize this solution already. Okay, please code on tool, tell me what is the truth. Did I find it or not? I did find it and I get the full skill rating for this. So this actually completes sector 13 ciphers and with this also, um, we're prepared to start into the last, the very last code hunt sector uh, in the next episode. And yeah, I'm really excited. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.